This is a classic question, and it's even for the best clinician, it can sometimes be difficult. Um, but there are a lot of clues that help you distinguish. So the first thing is if somebody has the cerebellar variant of multiple system atrophy, meaning they're off balance rather than having a Parkinsonian type picture where they're slowed down and they're kind of hunched over, then it's very easy. There's no, there's no, there's no confusion. But if they look Parkinsonian, there's a few clues. The first is that they may fall quite early in the disease. They may have problems with their balance very early. So um, in Parkinson's disease, that's typically 10 or 15 years down the road, whereas in multiple system atrophy, it may be one or two years in, into it. The second is that the classic drug for Parkinson's disease called uh, L-DOPA um, may work in multiple system atrophy temporarily, but it stops working very quickly, whereas it continues working for 10, 15 years in Parkinson's. The third is if somebody has significant amounts of dementia, that's typically not present in multiple system atrophy, typically is present in Lewy body Parkinson's disease. So that's another distinguishing feature. Uh, and then early severe involvement of the autonomic nervous system, such as low blood pressure, bladder involvement, is typically a very clear indication you may have multiple system atrophy. And then the final thing, which is really unique to multiple system atrophy, is involvement of the vocal cords. So if you involve the vocal cords, like laryngeal strider, you're having trouble getting your words out, or you have these funny sighs, or you have some sleep issues, you fall asleep in the middle of a conversation, that's very typical of multiple system atrophy, very unusual to see that in Parkinson's.